Hi crafters, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. This is Jana with Purple Girl Crafts. Today we are going to make this reindeer easel card. As you lift this up, you'll see it says Season's Greetings on the bottom. And on the top three reindeer, they are um, colored on both sides. This requires no die cuts. It's pretty simple, so let's get started. I'm going to move Santa because he's going to join us today. We're going to put him off to the side. And the first piece, this is going to be cut at four and three quarters by five and three quarters. The next piece, this is the base of the card. This is going to be cut at seven by five. Then we need one piece, and this is going to be cut at two by four and three quarters. And then we'll need a piece on top of that, so that is one and three quarters by four and a half. Then we need two pieces, and these are cut at two and a half by four and a half. And then we need two pieces that are one and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then we need two pieces that are one and a half by four and a half. These are going to be glued together just so that they are for that season's greetings on the bottom. Now for the red piece, we're going to go ahead and we're going to score this at one inch. And I've added centimeters up on the top for those that you have asked. And then what we're going to do, just to make this easier, I'm just going to fold this down. Crease that out. And then you're going to put this on your board with the score side on the other end, and you're going to score this at two and three eighths. And then I'm just folding that back and forth, and then we'll fold that second one that we just did. We'll fold that in half, and then crease that out with the bone folder. So that is the piece that you will have when you're done with the folds. So we don't need our scoreboard anymore, so we'll move that out of the way. And then for the base of the card, this is the piece that is five by seven. We are going to glue on this first top piece. So I'm going to just use some tape, and we're going to put tape on the one inch fold that we made. I'm just gonna double up and put two pieces on here. And that's always good just to push those down so the glue is stuck all the way down. And then I'm just going to pull those off. So we're going to line this up so we have an even border all the way around on three sides. And we're going to glue this to the right side of the paper. So I'm going to turn this so it's a little bit easier for you to see. I'm just going to make sure that is evenly distributed so I have a border all the way around. The fold is folded in, and then just press that down. So that's what you should have. And next, we're going to do the two other pieces of the pattern paper. And those are going to be put on top and bottom of this. And again, just to save time, I have gone ahead and put tape on all of my pieces. And so you know you can pull these one direction on both of them so you have something to hold on to. And then just lay this down and line it up. And then once you have it exactly in the center, go ahead and just pull those tabs off. And then we'll do the other side too. This one I'm going to pull the top one off and just leave a little piece on the bottom just for something to hold on to. And just line it up and then secure it. So let me grab the reindeer and we're going to start on those next. And so I have four different reindeer and then I have colored them both on both sides. So I drew the reindeer, print, uh, printed them, Flipped them over, printed them again. Because I could have front and back on them. I just thought it would look cute if the back of the card showed the reindeer too. So this is how it's going to line up. So we're going to put the reindeer on the top piece. 
and you're going to put them just so that it looks like his arms are hanging over the edge and then the pattern paper of the candy cane will go on top of the checkered board paper. So I'm quickly going to put all of these together front and back and I'm just going to glue those together because they don't need to be separated in any way for this to be glued on. Okay, so we're just going to glue it again so the top of his hooves are lined up with that top piece of the, the fold of the card. So we'll put one there. I've numbered these on the back to make sure I have them matching front and back. And I did one with a red nose for reindeers, or for Rudolph, so we're going to put him in the center of the top of the card. So I'll put him right about there. And then we'll do one more. And let's look, let's see. No, I think I'll go with him looking to the right. So I'm just going to glue this piece on. And then again, he's going to sit there. So as these are laid there, then we're going to take this piece and it's going to be on top of the um, reindeer. And again, you want just his hooves just to be showing. I'm just going to line these up just so that I can make sure they all fit. I'm just going to use my poker just to push him in there because it didn't work otherwise. Okay, so just like that. So now that you know, you can see where they're supposed to be, I'm going to move this piece of paper just so you can see as it stands up, that's how they're going to look. So I'm going to glue these down, and again, I'm just gluing the top, just that bottom piece from his hooves down. And I'm just going to line it up so he doesn't go over the edge. And then I'm just going to line all three of these up next to each other. Just making sure that there's room for the last one. And then secure those all down. And then the next piece, this will go on top. And again, it's going to go on top of the reindeer's hooves, just on the very bottom, so their hooves are showing. So I'm going to pull the tape off on this one. If I can get it started. And then we are going to just sit this down again, just so it's covering the top of the hooves and in the center. I'm actually going to turn it to just so I can see it better. Move that one piece because it's in the way. So as you can see, I'm just lining it up just so that just the edge of their hooves are showing. And then just pull that last piece off and secure that piece down. Perfect. So now for the back side of it, we have the other piece. So we're going to put the smaller, there's two, you should have two of the same, so one is a little bit smaller. So this smaller piece is going to go in the back. If you just fold the card backwards like I just did, then we could just go ahead and secure this last piece on the back side of this card. So again, I'm just going to pull the tabs off because I don't have any in the center, so I'll just hold it on the center piece. And just make sure that this is even on here. And then just secure that down. Now for the piece of the plate that's going to hold the easel up, that's where I have the two, we cut the two pieces at the exact same size and we're just going to glue those together. And then the other longer red piece will fit on the left side of the card. So again, I have taken and put tape on all of these pieces just to make it just a little bit quicker. And then I'm just going to take and I'm going to center this top piece, the candy, candy cane paper, on top of this last red piece. And then 
and we are going to put a reindeer on him, which I think will be cute. So we'll have an extra reindeer. Now this one is only um, one thickness, so we're gonna put him there. And then this piece, once it's put together, will be right here, and it'll be, pop dots will be underneath it. Yeah, I kinda like that reindeer. It's like he's looking at them. So for this piece, again, I put the strips on it. I'm just gonna pull those off. And we're gonna put these two pieces together. Now you can do them front and back or back to back. I just did back to back, because you're not gonna see the bottom side. It just makes it a little bit thicker. And that'll be the piece for the easel to stand on. So then what I did is I, I also took out, I already cut out Season's Greetings. I know it's very hard to see, but then I line them up and then put the wasabi tape on the top to hold them in place. And I did it for both seasons and greetings. And I'm just going to grab my white glue. And we're just going to, I'm gonna dot it on each letter. You don't need a lot. So I'm gonna dot it all the way around. And I know I'm off camera here, I'm so sorry. And I'm gonna put seasons just on the very top on the edge. But you could put, you know, happy holidays, you could do any kind of you know wording. You could do another little um, embellishment on it if you wanted. So once you have the glue, you just push that down and then you slowly pull off the tape. So we're gonna do greetings after that. Again, same thing. I'm just going to hold the tape down with two fingers. Make sure those are down. And then I'm just going to put glue and just dotting it just on the you know, areas of each letter. Okay, so this time I moved it up so you could see. <laughs> and then we're just going to put greetings. And I'm putting the G just to line it up right with the S. And again, once you have that down, just slowly pull off the tape and the letters will stick. And if you use an instant grab glue, it's sometimes you can't move the letters, but if you move quickly, you, if your letters are off a little bit, you can go ahead and you can glue them down. Okay, so this piece, let's secure this longer piece down first. Again, I'm just going to pull the tape off. And this piece is going to get glued to the edge. It's going to have that same border around the edge of the card. So I'm going to make sure there's an even border all the way around. And then just put that down. And then again, we're going to glue this reindeer right there like he's looking up at the other ones. And then we're gonna put the season's greeting sign on there. So now before we do that, I also did fa la 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 la. Same thing, I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna put glue on the letters. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right in the center of this center of this panel. And then we're just going to glue that down. And then there you have it. Your letters are lined up and look great. Now, as you can see, I can move these really quick, just a little bit. Some of them have moved when I laid down the, the wasabi tape. So again, we're going to use pop dots and I'm just going to put pop dots on the back of this piece that it's going to be at the bottom of the card and you just want enough just to just to give it dimension so I'm just going to put about six on here or so I'm just randomly putting them around. And then I'm gonna take my poker and I'm gonna pull off the, 
the uh, backing. Sorry, I'm out of camera again. Okay, so those are all off. So we're going to take this piece and we are going to center it. And I'm going to center it just a little bit higher than the red border that's there. Make sure it's in the center and then just lay it down. Okay, so we're going to put a pop dot on this one reindeer right here. So I'm just going to put just one on his head. And then we're going to just put him just at an angle like he's looking up at the other reindeer. Okay, so that's how the card is going to look once it's closed. Now for this last reindeer, I think I'm going to put him right here and I'm going to cut him off. I'm going to cut his face off just a little bit just so that he's just sitting there looking up. So I'm just going to cut just a tiny bit off the bottom of him just so that he can sit and it just looks like he's part of the banner. And that way he fits and doesn't overhang. So I think that looks good. And for this one, we're just going to glue this piece down. I'm just going to make sure the bottom of him is lined up on the edge of the card so that he doesn't go over um, either side of it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add some embellishments. So I have some green jewels. And these are part of the um, eyelet outlet that I got. So I'm going to just put just a couple around. And on the peppermint paper, there's a tiny little dot, so I'm just going to cover some of the dots with the green embellishments. And I'm just going to do a few. I'm not going to do too many. I'll even put some on the back side, just one or two. Perfect. So that is the card that we made today. I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And until next time, happy crafted, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye-bye.